Hi friends, here we are going to evaluate the limit of this uh, trigonometric expression or trigonometric function, right? So, you know, uh, as we have already learned that before we have, uh, before evaluating any expression, we have to convert that expression in some standard forms, right? That standard forms are limit, uh, let me do a different color, limit when x tends to 0, sin x upon x equals to 1. Or another uh, standard form is limit x tends to 0 cos of x equals to 1 and another is limit when x tends to 0 tan x upon x equals to 1 these are the standard forms right and we have to convert our this expression into this standard forms so until we will not get this standard form we cannot evaluate this right so how to convert this so simply what I'm looking here right uh, some simple things I'm looking here see cos sec theta cos theta we know that right cos theta is just the opposite of sin theta right uh, we know that cos theta is equals to 1 upon sin theta so I'm just writing here limit right limit when theta tends to 0 1 upon cos theta in the place of cos theta I'm writing 1 upon sin theta again cot theta I'm uh, ex uh, splitting this into the cos theta upon sin theta right and whole divided by theta so what we will get here limit right when x tends to 0 now I will get 1 minus cos theta divided by sin theta times the theta this theta this sin theta will comes down right and uh, you know this formula what I'm writing exactly 1 upon b uh, times c upon b if you get divided by d if you get then you will get in this form right a minus c divided by b times d right so exactly I'm using here so now you know again what I'm doing limit when x tends to 0 1 minus now the this is cos theta right and there is no such formula in this form so cos theta is cos x equals to 1 or either I have to convert this right so this is theta form now I'm converting to the half angle formula right and uh, you know the half and ha half angle formula of this right uh, when cos 2a is equals to uh, 1 minus sorry 2 sine square a when cos is 2a then the formula is 1 minus 2 sine square a so here is cos theta so it will be 1 minus 2 sine square theta so I'm just applying here right so it will be now uh, 1 minus uh, it will be since when this minus will multiply this minus it will be plus right so I'm directly writing here plus 2 sine square not a it's theta right divided by 2 this is now half angle right this was 2a then it is a so it was theta then it will be theta upon 2 whole divided by now it's sin theta again I myself I'm adding here the theta uh, to get this standard form this is standard form to get this standard form so sin theta upon theta I I added this myself so again I have to add here also the theta and this theta so it will be theta square right and this minus and this plus will cancel so limit oh it's theta actually it's not x limits when theta tends to 0 right now I'm getting 2 times sine square theta right so theta upon 2 and again I'm multiplying by theta upon 2 whole square so I have to theta upon 2 square also I have to put it here because theta upon 2 by theta upon 2 I divided so I have to multiply this also right and this whole divided by uh, I can easily write here one uh, the theta square also but uh, I'm not writing I'll be using only once uh, I can also write here simply this limit when sine theta upon theta in the standard form I got this right so limit sine x upon x limit when x tends to 0 uh, sine x upon x is equals to 1 so directly I'm writing here sine theta uh, when the uh, limit when theta tends to 0 sine theta uh, upon theta equals to 1 right so 1 times theta square right so now what I mean to say here yeah, that when theta tends to 0 theta upon 2 also tends to 0 right theta is not exactly the 0 it's
close very close very very close to theta so uh, sorry very very close to zero right it's very much close almost close right almost the zero but not exactly the zero so theta upon 2 will be of course uh, the same as the zero right so again uh, what now I can write limit when theta upon 2 tends to zero right 2 times sine theta divided by 2 divided by theta divided by 2 whole square times theta square that will be theta square divided by 4 and this theta will come uh, you can say here also theta square we can write here because overall I'm writing here because there is nothing there is only one so I can write like this also right so now when a limit theta ten, uh, theta upon 2 tends to 0 it will be now sine theta upon theta so it will be 2 times 1 right this is the standard form that we want right this is the star of sine x upon x so this is the standard form I'm using this standard form and then theta uh, so I can cut this also why, why should I write this theta right so I'm just cutting uh, 1 times right this 2 times 1 square times this theta square and theta square I'm cutting divided by 4 then 2 2 is a 4 so I get 1 upon 2 this is my answer right so like this we have to solve this problem you know uh, in problem uh, just see let me show you the problem in, in this problem you know we have to do anything you know depending on the situation we can use the half angle formula we can use the uh, any 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 identities whatever right but we need to convert into this standard forms basically you know mostly we used to convert into sin x upon x sometimes we also convert in uh, tan x upon x or depending on the situation we may convert like this right so every time in this problem try to take out by any means in the standard form sometimes you may have to rationalize sometimes you may have to you know get uh, first uh, LHS then RHS then you have to equate so depending on the situations right convert into the standard form and solve the limit right so we'll be meeting the next video with the different methods of solving limit bye bye